before starting to draw the paper pattern first calculate some measurements for the blouse that is length plus 1 for back part length plus 2 inch for front part bust or chest around measurement divide by 4 and write down waist around measurement divide by 4 and write down shoulder width divided by 2 and write down sleeve bottom around measurement divide by 2 and write down for the neck width we should divide bust or chest measurement by 12 if your back neck length for the blouse is too deep then better calculate the shoulder measurement by bust or chest measurement divide by 3 and whatever you are getting that you measure as a shoulder width here i am showing the written instructions to draw the paper pattern for the blouse you can pause the video and note it down or else follow the instructions showing that written instructions from the book rapidex home tailoring course written by me so this book you can buy online and follow the instructions let's begin the pattern drafting for the back part this is the back part better you draw on the folded paper or else write down on 0 to 1 that is the length plus 1 write down fold so 0 to 1 is the length plus 1 inch and same way 2 to 3 is the length plus 1 inch 0 to 2 is the total width that is 1/4 of the bust or chest measurement plus half inch for is and 1 inch for seam same way same measurement is 1 to 3 so join 1 3 2 0 to draw a rectangle 0 to 4 is the armhole length that is 1/4 of the bust minus 2 inch here i would like to clear never take armhole length measurement 0 to 4 more than 7.5 inches because if the bust size is more then it adjusts in the width so if the armhole length will be more then the sleeve part also will be coming down so take 7.5 only 0 to 5 is the half of the shoulder plus 1/4 inch i would like to clear that if the shoulder measurement is 13 inch then half of the shoulder will be 6 and 1/2 and plus 1/4 means quarter to 7 if it is 14 should half of the shoulder then 7 and plus 1/4 inch this is the measurement for half of the shoulder 0 to 7 is the neck width that is 1/12 of the chest if want to keep the shoulder part 7 to 6 narrow then measure the same 1/12 of the chest from 6 to 7 if you want this is wide then take the same measurement from 0 to 7 and 0 to 8 is the back neck length how much you want as per choice and now draw the a rectangle 15 is the meeting point of 7 and 8 16 is the center point of 8 to 15 and 17 is the center point of 7 to 15 draw your neck shape this way by french curve 4 to 9 is the total width which we have taken 0 to 2 1 to 10 will be the 1/4 of the waist around measurement and 1 inch for seam and 1 and 1/2 inch for dart because in this dart both side it is 3/4 3/4 inch so this is 1 and 1/2 inch and 1 inch for seam 
so in waist around measurement you have to add two and a half inch and mark the point ten. Join nine and ten. Here I would like to clear. Suppose if your calculation the ten point comes in the place of three, no problem. And if it is goes it is outside also, then also not a problem. After stitching the dart, that this part will come in a shape. One to eleven is three three fourth inch. That is the difference between the bust on bust difference between the two nipple. That is seven and a half inch. Half of that will be three three fourth inch. I am showing that this is the seven and a half inch. and half of that will be if i am folding my measuring tape this way and then you will get the fold on 3 3/4 inch this will be the for dart point measure 11 to 13 3/4 inch and 11 to 14 also 3/4 inch and draw the dart by joining 12 This will be three fourth inch, and one more three fourth inch is here. So this is the one and a half inch all we have taken for the dart. Fifteen to eighteen is a straight line. Nineteen is the center point of five to eighteen. Now draw back armhole shape on nine, fifteen, and six. If you don't have French curve. Then measure eighteen to twenty one inch and join nine twenty and nineteen with the straight scale and later on draw this smooth shape. Cut back part paper pattern on one thirteen eleven fourteen ten nine back arm hole shape nineteen six seven and neck shape eight. This is the pattern drafting for the front part. So you can pause and follow or note it down. This is the leftover. Two three lines above. That is for the front part. Paper drafting. The front part. Some points are same like back. Or some part. Some points are different. The measurement is different. Such as zero to one will be the length plus two inch. And zero to two total width. That is one fourth of the bust plus one inch for ease. And one inch for seam so 0 to 1 is the length and 2 to 3 is the length 0 to 2 is the width and 1 to 3 is the width join 1 3 2 0 2 to draw a rectangle shape measure 0 to 4 as a 1/4 of the bust minus 2 inch for the armhole length same as in back 0 to 5 will be the half of the shoulder plus 1/4 inch Five to six is half inch. Zero to seven is the neck width measurement. That is bust divided by twelve. Join six and seven. Measure four to nine. One fourth of the bust plus one inch for ease and one inch for seam. One to ten will be the one fourth of the waist measurement and one inch for seam. That's all. Join nine and ten with the shape. One to eleven is belt length. This is this measurement also will be same as one twelfth of the base which we have taken for zero to seven. The same measurement is here one to eleven. Ten to twelve will be one inch less than one to eleven. Suppose one to eleven is three inch, then ten to twelve will be two inch. Join in a eleven and twelve as a slant line. Here thirteen point is for the dart, so zero to thirteen is one fourth of the bust plus one inch. Suppose if the bust line is thirty six size and nine will be the one fourth of thirty six, 
so 0 to 13 will be 9 plus 1 10 inch 13 to 14 is 3 3 fourth inch which we have taken on the back part 1 to 11 it is same 13 to 14 explaining about the darts so this is will be the first dart join 13 to 14 11 to 15 is also same like 13 to 14 3 3 fourth inch join 14 and 15 as a straight line for the waistline dart measure 12 to 16 one and a half inch for dart on side seam join 16 and 14 arm hole this is a straight line 5 to 23 measure from 23 to 17 1 inch above and join 17 to 14 for the armhole dart now from 14 measure 1 inch 1 inch distance for all the dart lines like 14 to a 1 inch 14 to b 1 inch 14 to c and 14 to d all are 1 1 inch distance dart shape from 13 above and down both side measure half of inch and draw the dart from A to 13. Here from 15 to 18 and 15 to 19 measure 1 1 inch and draw dart from B. On the point 16 above and down both side measure half of inch and draw dart from C. 17 also both side up and down half half inch and draw dart from D. To draw front arm hole shape 24 will be the center point of 5 to 23, 24 to 25 will be half inch to 3 fourth inch and draw front arm hole shape on 6, 25 and 9. Here we are going to cover 2 inches in this waistline dart so here the fabric will be short letter so to cover up this part extend 12 to 26 by 2 inch and join with 9 to cover up this dart extend this 16 side seam dart extend up to this 9 to 26 line one small shape is there on the waist belt that is totally optional if you want you can do if you don't don't do 11 to 11 is 1 inch and draw shape from 19 to cut the paper pattern first separate the belt part on 1 10, 3, 26, 12, 18, 15, 19, 11 or 11A. Separating belt part, cut from 26, 9, front arm hole shape, 6, 7 and neckline. This video will draw the sleeve paper pattern and folding of the fabric to place the paper pattern of front back and sleeve that I'll show so subscribe now home tailoring by Kusum Sharma video channel to get the notification for the next upcoming video thank you